Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going to cover OpenVAS or now known as Greenbone. It is a vulnerability management solution. The reason why we are going to cover it, um, not only is it free, which I love free tools. Uh, in this case on YouTube, there is not many tutorials that actually is updated and covers the entire process, especially with relation to Docker. A lot of these are outdated. There are a few, um, but nothing that I could find, especially uh, with installing using Docker. A few of the videos I found were outdated and they use this old Docker image, which is no longer um, being updated. As you can see, the last one was updated five years ago. Uh, but in this case, it does have 10 million um, pulls or Docker pulls. Uh, you can still use it for testing, but as far as it having updated vulnerabilities or CVEs and plugins, um, that will not be the case. And I'm not even sure if you could update the feed. So we will go ahead and just head over to the Greenbone documentation and we will install Greenbone vulnerability management solution uh, just using Docker Compose file. So within about 10 minutes, you should have this up and running and uh, that'll be it. So here at the top, obviously we have the hardware requirements. Um, so at, at a minimum, you need two CPU cores, hard disk, 20 gigabytes free. Uh, and then the recommended is four cores and 60 gigabytes free with eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, in this case, I have allocated uh, six gigabytes of RAM and about 50 gigs of hard drive space and two cores. Um, this is just for testing purposes. Obviously, we could ramp it up if we need to. I am running this on my uh, Windows machine within a hy Hyper-V environment. Um, so that's how we went about that. Uh, then if we scroll down to the next step, it's going to have you go ahead and install these packages. In most cases, really, we, we won't really need this. Uh, in this case, curl will be used to install or to pull down the docker compose file sage certificates we're not going to cover today as we're not going to be installing any certificates or um we're just going to be running it right out the box uh just to kind of get you guys in the in the in the process of using this solution uh so then the next step it talks about going ahead and uninstalling any docker uh packages uninstall conflicting debian packages or ubuntu door or sent OS. Uh, but in this case we are using a new machine it is a template that i set up that was just a blank slate has no nothing installed uh, but if you did have it installed you might want to go ahead and go ahead and run this command so this would just do for every package in docker.io take these packages and uh, remove those packages assigned to the package variable which is here um, then the next step it has you kind of set up a docker repository i didn't i don't really feel it's necessary um it's definitely good if you want to go ahead and, and pull it directly from the docker repository but in this case we're just going to go ahead and install docker.io package and that will pretty much give us everything that we need uh, and then as we go on we'll see that we have the um, steps to set up a user again this is not really necessary we could just use sudo um, but this does add the, the current user to the sudo um, or giving him the correct perm permissions to run Docker without using sudo. And then um, this just uh, kind of setting up a directory for the Docker Compose file and all of the um, volumes that are in there. So here's the Docker Compose file. So there's a few ways to go about this. We could obviously copy and paste it. We could type it all out. We could even use... Um, Visual Basic or Visual Visual Studio Code to go ahead and uh, SSH into the machine and copy this over that way. Uh, but another easy way is we can go ahead and we could use this. We could just use curl. So we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste this once we get to that step. And then we will have this and we'll make some modifications to that Docker Compose file. So let's go ahead and get started. So I had already SSH into this server. Ubuntu 1, which is going to host our OpenVAS or Greenbone uh, vulnerability management solution. So let's go ahead and the first thing that we want to do, obviously, as always, is sudo apt get update. And we'll also do sudo apt get upgrade dash y. Uh, so with th this is going to have the most up-to-date packages and our up-to-date repositories. So let's go ahead and run that. You want to do this every time before um, installing, especially if you haven't used this machine in a while. This is a brand new machine, and I do not remember if I have updated it. So we'll start here, and I will be back in just a minute. All right, so once that is complete, the next thing that we want to go ahead and do is install docker.io. So all we're going to do is go ahead and do sudo apt get install docker.io. Yes. 
and we'll install that package. Leave it default. All right, so once we have this up, next thing that we're gonna wanna do is just kind of make a directory. So since we're on a test machine, we'll just make a quick one right here and we'll just say open VOS. The reason why I keep referring to open VOS because online in most discussion forums, everyone still uses those terms. Um, I, I rarely see anybody mentioning Greenbone. Uh, so open VOS is just a quick way to reference something that most people know about or heard about. Uh, the next thing that we wanna do we're just going to copy this over. So this is going to just perform a get request essentially, and it's going to download that file and create a Docker compose file out of that using the dash O for output. Um, we do not need this because we're already in that download directory. Otherwise this would be changing directory into that download directory that we had specified earlier. So we'll go ahead and copy this out and paste. And then last but not least, we want to make sure that we install Docker Compose, uh, which will be used to bring this Docker Compose file to life. All right, so now we have Docker Compose installed. We have the Docker Compose uh, YAML file on our machine. Technically, at this point, we could go ahead and run sudo docker compose up dash d. Um, in that case, uh, but before we do that, we have to change one thing. Uh, so let's go into that Docker Compose file. And if we go to GSA, I believe. So here you'll notice that we have the port. Under ports, we'll have 127.0.0.1, which is our local host uh, with port 9392 listening on port 80. Um, so what we have to change here is this 127.1.0.0.1. This is because if we leave that, it is only listening on that specific, um, from that specific IP address with this specified port. Uh, so since we are on another server and I want to access it through my main uh, computer, we will not be able to because it is not listening uh, for that specific IP address or port. Uh, so in that case, we'll go ahead and close that out. Now that we have 0.0.0.0, .0, .0 that means that it is listening on any IP address and any, uh, yeah, any IP address. So let's go ahead and now we'll run sudo docker compose up dash D, D for detached. So it's not running in uh, after it creates the volumes and, and starts all the containers. It will just be back to our normal terminal. Uh, so in the meantime, we'll just kind of let this run and then I will be back once this completes. All right, so now the Docker Compose file created its volumes, it pulled in the images, and now we have it up and running. As you can see, it all says done. Uh, so at this point, we should be able to head over to this IP address. Uh, if we go ahead and run ifconfig. So you need the IP address of the interface uh, for the virtual machine. You don't need the IP address of the Docker because uh, it is being hosted within this uh, virtual machine. So we got 172.19.210.36. So let's go ahead and copy that. And then we'll paste in uh, the port 9392. And as you can see, we are now at the Greenbone login screen. So let's go ahead and log in with admin as the user and admin as the password. And just like that, within a few minutes, we're able to get this installed and able to access this uh, OpenVOS or Greenbone solution. Uh, so from there, you're going to want to go to administration and then feed status, and you're going to verify that the update is in progress. Um, the reason why I say that is because if you go to second phone, you check out the CVEs at first, this is going to be blank. Uh, but if you go to administration, and you verify that is updating. Um, you're just going to go ahead and wait that out. And then you go in here and you have your CVEs and your MVTs, CPEs and all that updated. And you can kind of see what exactly is going to be scanned. And that's going to close out today's video. So in this video, we just want to cover the installation process of installing OpenVOS or Greenbone within a Docker environment. Uh, and that was it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But like I said, there was not many tutorials out there on YouTube, at least that was updated or relevant uh, to the Docker installation process. Uh, so like I said, that's going to close out today's video. In the future, I'm going to create a playlist and maybe we'll go over um, OpenVOS in a more in-depth uh, tutorial. Uh, but in the meantime, as always, never stop learning.